how can you build this to be not just a one-off conversation but an ongoing one try not to think of this game as a as a set and forget we sort of i've sort of touched on that a little bit but keep coming back to it and reassessing or reevaluating it uh, i think the weekly retro and the intention setting on a regular basis with the team is massive and i sort of do this um with, with sophie when we catch up on a monday i say which which check-in conversation do you want to do? Do you want to do the weekly retro, the intention setting, or the, or the like, how you the check-in right now? And then you give your team some ownership over choosing which one to do. So it's not just we're always doing the weekly retro, or always doing weekly intention. The team get to decide which one they want to do based on the collective there. Uh, but making sure it doesn't become a one-off is, is like baking that into some sort of weekly fortnightly structure. Uh, there might be your one-to-ones that you already have with your team and just portioning off 10 minutes of it or your team ones. Um, think about using natural timeframes. So I work with sports teams a lot. So we have seasons. That's really simple. You can think about the upcoming season and define it for the next six months. So in cricket, six months or footy. In agriculture, there's a season. Use the existing timeframes, the existing cadences within a business. There might be quarterly reporting structures, uh, sales targets whatever they might what are the existing structures are build those into the game because if it was a quarterly thing for instance you could do it once a quarter and go okay what do we want to feel for this upcoming quarter end of the quarter look back what do we feel and not feel and then reset it again i'm more and more um, convinced that that mirrors our biology and human life and the way we evolve and and react to our surroundings more than anything um than just to sit and forget and create those set in stone core values, which are important to have because they are your North Star, but they're not, I don't think they're as effective as creating ongoing team engaging engagement and connection and understanding. Uh, and then the other thing for the, tw uh, for how you can keep this, uh, there's two more things with how you can keep this alive. One of them is the tracking canvas. So hopefully most of you have got to the point in the course where you've seen the tracking canvas. So that's a really simple way to keep the conversation alive because if you have a version of that where a team might do it every two months or once a month, whatever the time frame that suits your team the best, that's a simple visual prompt to keep the conversation alive. Because you say, okay, everybody by, uh, with Cricket Wellington, at the end of the last Friday of every month, they get around, um, they get around, there's a wall in their office where they have the tracking canvas on it and they get around that and make sure everybody's put their, their um, sticky note where they're at on the tracking canvas so that promotes keeping that conversation alive so that's a mess that's a really simple one you can do and then the final one is uh, i've done this with one company here organization here is we did a 12 month program for them so at month one we did the map your emotional culture workshop and they came up with the top five things they wanted to feel and not feel and then once a month the team voted on uh, one pleasant and one unpleasant one black card one white card to focus on for the next month and so they did a start start stop continue focusing on those two things and then the next month they chose another one and by the time they went through all five they then re re-evaluated reset it and then did that again so that was a really simple way that they kept it alive over a year so those are those are those are some some high level tips for how you can how you can keep it alive but certainly thinking about this thing as an evolving ongoing thing rather than just we do it once and we don't come back to it again is, is core to that i think yeah uh, it also gives you permission like i said before because if you say we're going to look back at the end of the season there's a natural permission there for you to have that conversation again